get tired of this shirt and me sitting here. I'm sorry. Today is just booming. Like it's been booming for the past two, three weeks, but I haven't had time to really talk about stuff. But the post, y'all see the thumbnail about the shape of the earth. Y'all know Jubilee, I think. Um, they did a video on flat earthers and spear shape or round earth. It is one of the most heated, controversial debates in science. Me personally, and I know somebody can come at me for saying this. I don't care. I just care at the fact that my creator, God, created the heavens and the earth. And the atmospheres and the galaxies. He created all of that. That's what I care about. And that's a fact. Now, the shape of it, I can kind of care less. But I find it so funny because this is one of the most humorous dig of a dispute debate ever like you know there are some debates that you just like ah oh, that's crazy but those few that it just gets real nasty it gets real ignorant and it just off the charts and the fact of the matter of whether the earth is round or not is one of them and now it's been said allegedly <laughs> because of youtube that nasa lied like the pictures and recordings that have been depicted have been proven false that's a big deal that's a huge deal i'm just over here like what but you know what it's funny because people who were like in between these conversations and debates they always say the same thing over and over again don't be deceived by what you see and even I will go as far as to say that even in our Bible, it tells us, Jesus himself speaking said, there are going to be people that are going to say, look, he's over there. Or look here below the son of God. And he said, do not believe them. That leads me to believe that deception of what's perceived it's going to be a huge deal in relation to the Antichrist and things that are to take place and to come before Jesus does. And we are visually stimulated people. We're emotionally stimulated people. So even the saying, right? Um, believe in none of what you hear and half of what you see. Something like that. I don't know. But the older I get, the more I become... This person where I'm like, man, <laughs> you need to establish a relationship with God himself and you need to leave social media completely alone in, in respect to what you live, breathe, think, and assume. Like, leave that part out of it. I'm not saying everybody's lying, everybody's deceitful, but we are in a day and age where clout is a big deal. Like, I want to put this in front of you and I want to go viral. It doesn't matter who it hurts. It doesn't matter who it confuses. It doesn't matter um, what you think of me personally. Like, it's a big deal. I'm just over here like, wow. I've I seen the arguments. I've seen videos pro, con, against, you know, the shape of the earth and things of this nature. And um, I don't know what to say. Now... Besides the fact that to me personally, it does not matter whether it's flat or round. I would say that it's very disturbing that a lot of this government funded, government authorized concepts, ideas, and things are proven to be wrong or deceitful. That to me is a big deal, especially in reference to um, living. Big deal. People are affected drastically by false information. Like, um, I just had a video about the perm. Um, there's videos and information on COVID and the vaccination, how it never truly was tested, how it should have been originally. You know, like, that's a big deal. Because if I, a person A, decides to determine whether or not I'm going to take the vaccination based on the fact that I was informed and assured that it has been trialed and tested, 
That's a big deal. I'm making a life-changing decision off what it has been said to be fat. And although I would say whether the earth is round and flat may or may not give and take have a personal effect on me because, you know, people feel differently about different things. The only thing that's affecting me right now is um, trustworthy information. You know, I, I will hope and pray that as these things come to light, that someone would say, I truly should not be trusting men. I truly should not have faith in social media, the internet, the news. Like, I need to put everything that's considered truth and belief into my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing else. And then people get mad and they hate because why do you always bring religion into this? And it's like, do you not understand that our Holy Bible has stand the test of time? Whereas government has failed, social media has failed, the news has failed, different people you have looked up to have failed. And it's like the last past two years has really been a thing of exposure. And I will say this, if I remember who, who said this, I would definitely um, drop the link because I'm a big, 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 big fan of um, connecting the dots and you seeing it for yourself, which is why I prefer to use scripture and then come back to my concept versus concept and scripture. But in this case, this was kind of like a spirit of the moment, kind of, kind of taking advantage of my little free time with the kids here. But um, I'm going to leave the uh, scriptures in the comment and I'm going to leave it in the description. But um, you want to be careful definitely right now. You want to be really careful. You want to use wisdom. You want to pray to God and understand that there is a lot at stake. And the main thing is your soul when it comes to what you believe, what you hold on to, what you value. And we have to get to a point where don't despise prophecy. Please don't. I struggle with that myself. Y'all seen my videos on false teachers and false prophecy and all that stuff. And um, I think where it turns for words where a couple bad apples almost spoiled the whole bunch was definitely the Trump prophecy. But please hear me out. There was a prophecy or someone prophesying um, last year or the year before that, I think. And their thing was, there's going to be a lot of exposing. And they definitely hit the heads on the head, like through news, social media, um, through government or about government. Like they were pretty specific. Um, and I remember hearing that and I said, I feel that. And you know, we want to be careful about what we feel. I know I trust. Please, please don't come for me. I'm not a, a emotional feel. It got to feel right. It got to feel wrong thing. That's not me at all. I just go to my word of God. And like I said, what came to me even about this NASA thing in the earth shape was Jesus himself said, be careful about people, you know, visually giving you a truth. Because if I want to, I could paint a pretty picture at any given moment and at any, at any given time about any given thing. Because I want to win you over. I can put makeup on right now and convince you that makeup is better than my natural face. And some would go to the grave saying, yeah, I prefer you with makeup. Or I can sit here and never put makeup on my face and then you don't even get to choose, right? You just see my natural face. Same thing with hair, natural, weave, whatever it else. Like, I paint that picture for you. I'm in charge of that. And we have to remember that the more money you have, the more funding, the more resources, the more people backing you up, I can paint to you any kind of picture I want to at any given time. And all it takes is enough of people to say that's true or enough people to say that's false. And then what has been a growing factor in social media now is I can have equally amount of people pro, con, for, and against, and still give me what I need, which is the clout, which is the attention, which is the money, which is the funding. Um, we see, saw that right in Black Lives Matter that because the foundation or supposedly foundation of this society, this group of people, was that that one could people relate to or believe in, they just threw money at it, like. Here, take my money. Take my hard-earned money. And what they do with it? Abuse it. 
They gave it to who they want to give to. Some of the causes that you thought you was giving your money to actually didn't go to that. Like, come on now. Like, there's a lot of things being exposed, and this is good. This is good stuff. But what do we do with exposure? Um, awareness. Two, um, you obviously pray about it. Like, you pray about all things. But my goal and my truth would be, Lord, let it push people to you. Like, you don't try everything else. And people have been trying everything else for years. Try Jesus. Talk, excuse me, talk to him, establish your relationship, read your word, and figure out where you stand in this matter. Who's on the Lord's side? This is truly where we're at. Who's on the Lord's side? Because guess what? The same way that science has really showed their true colors for you, we're now at a point where people hold on to so much confusion and chaos that they literally don't know what to think. And as the saying go, stand for something or fall for anything, a lot of people are falling for anything. They're literally in the, hey, lo, look here, or what's that over their face? Like they're literally just like, Wherever the crowd's going, where wherever we're told to do and say, like, what's new? What's next? That's the thing now. Whatever's new, whatever, whatever's different. And please remember, Ecclesiastes, there is nothing new under the sun. Even this talk about government being false and wrong and things of this nature. And guess what? People have died. People have disappeared. People have been hushed based on what information has come out. So, you know, we got to be careful. But it's to the point now where... Like I said, this is the pro and con of social media. It's so sporadic and so in and out that you can't stop everybody from talking about certain things and believing certain things and posting certain things. Like, you can try, but you can't stop everyone. So, my suggestion will be always to pray and talk to God about what's going on here. And obviously, not to let it ruin your life and your day. Um, I believe in turning the TV off. Um, don't be so quick to look at the news or look at different posts and things. And they like, I don't even, like I told y'all all the time in the beginning, I could care less if it's trying to go big, small, medium, whatever. Because my thing is, I'm not trying to live up to the number standard. You know what I'm saying? Like get to a point where I'm like, oh, I got 10,000 people. I need to give 10,000 uh, subscriber worth of information or videos or news or whatever. That's not me. But I do truly believe in awareness and opinions and thoughts. And I want to hear you guys talk about this in the comment section. Please talk to me. What do you feel? How do you feel? How do you think this affects you? Do you think this is an important matter? Where does religion stand in this information? Talk to me. Love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.